Hi everybody, how you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. And I am uh, bringing this some good information to you about Aptera and how they're continuing to update their facility as well as the equipment that they're receiving and their the vehicle they're trying to produce. They are actually continuing to update all the equipment that's being used for the Delta that's coming out. Um, hopefully you feel the same way. And I actually want to talk about their solar panels, how they are actually updating that. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back, welcome back. And I just want to talk about the solar panels that they're coming out with. They are actually updating them. And I have a video clip that I want to look at that they had talked about the solar panel and all the upgrades that they did to each and every panel that they are forming for the vehicle. And so let's take a look at that. Our solar team has made amazing progress uh, behind us here. Uh, really, you know, we've, we had the first uh, production validation uh, with producing kind of 10 panels a day um, at our other shop. And now we're kind of streamlining our operations here um, and investigating really the production materials uh, that we'll take to production. And since you last saw panels being made, uh, we've actually increased the durability of the panels. Uh, there's quite a bit more hardness, so the surface finish uh, is a lot nicer, a lot more luster. Um, it has more scratch resistance now, which, uh, which is great, um, and it's less reflective. Uh, we're also working with uh, materials groups on some coatings that uh, can have some, some real impact to our solar production, which we think is really cool. It's also more manufactured, but we don't have the struggle with the uh, air bubbles and other artifacts yeah. that you see in the manufacturing process. So those are uh, basically non-existent in the new material, so. Yeah, we had a lot of, um, you know, early production issues and some uh, some delamination, and you see the air bubbles over time, and these new panels just, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're perfect every time. Every time we see one, I'm, I'm just giddy over <laughs> how cool they look. So it sounds like their manufacturing team is doing a wonderful job with the solar panels that they actually make getting them more or less scratch resistant, less reflective, and better overall, they are manufacturing them faster. Because they started out, they were making 10 panels per vehicle a day. That That is not a lot. But we have to take under consideration that Aptera is actually the first company that's actually utilizing this specific procedure to get this done. No other company has ever done this. They're taking solar panels and they're bending them on two axes to get this to work on top of a vehicle that's not flat. So Aptera is really doing an amazing job. And if they actually double the production from 10 to 20, that's a significant feat. Uh, hopefully they doing more than that. Maybe they can do um, 40 panels per vehicle, that would be much up their line of getting this taken care of. Uh, if they have, kudos to them. Awesome. Um, so what do you think? You think they're going to get this taken care of where they have all the material coming out as fast as what the CPC is going to be coming out with the vehicles for them to produce the vehicles with once they get to Calisbad, California? I mean, it's something that we're actually going to have to wait and see, but I think that Aptera is, you know, they're ready to go. They are gung-ho to get Aptera out. And I think that they are going to have a surprise for us when they do come out with it. But once again, give me your comments below. Tell me what you think. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But yeah, Aptera is really getting this taken care of. And I like how he said that, you know, manufacturing them now, the solar panels are less reflective. Uh, so that helps out a lot. It'll make the solar panels last longer. And also that the bubbles that would tend to come up when they made them. So they don't have to worry about that ever happening again either. So they can make the panels much faster without having to resurface them or whatever they had to do when the bubbles pop up. Uh, but once again, give me your comments below. Tell me what you think. 
Um, I think that would be that would be great. But um, I saw this on the internet the other day, and I wanted to show this to you. I think I got this off of, uh, I can't remember exactly, but boy, that sure does look nice at night. And no doubt, I was looking at that and I was wondering, I said, wow, man, what is that? Obviously it's not the Delta because you know, we know that the Delta is not out yet, but that actually looks like, and I took a picture of this from the Gamma. Of course, that's not the Gamma right there. But I took a picture of that from, the gamma to show how that's what that that part was and so as you look at this you can see how the bottom piece comes out much further and that one's much shorter just like in that picture but man that sure does look nice um so when they do come out with the delta boy that that is going to look nice at night to see that one thin line coming across there. Wow, that is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing when the Delta comes out. Um, I did have that picture up here. So this, this is what the rear end of the Delta looked like. So the red light comes up and then it stops. And then it picks up again in the back. But this, all that is even. Uh, one side doesn't protrude out further than the other. But boy, that is going to look nice when it does come out. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the accelerator program. Let's see what's happening on there. We know that Aptera is continuing to grow and no doubt they are steadily growing. Uh, up there it says 865. Sometimes you can't go by that. You have to actually go on the site itself and see what's going on. So clicking on to that site on the leaderboard, am I going to get excited? Of course I am. <laughs> All right. So it is at 865. All right, Aptera, way to go. Good job, Aptera. These guys are always moving. Sometimes they're moving slow. Sometimes they're moving fast. But look at that. They have broken the $16 million mark. And they're just a little bit more than halfway. I think they're going to get up to at least um, $25 million when all is said and done by the time they reach 2,000 investors altogether. What do you think? You think they're going to reach um, 2 20 uh 20 25 million by when it all said and done uh give me your comments below uh, i just want to know all right so that is looking good thank you at tara you guys are awesome keep up the good work chris and steve everybody at tara and all my Aptarians out there we're looking forward to when you come out and you actually have everything rocking we know it's not going to take too much longer all right let me give a shout out to my patrons oh yeah if you're new here hit the like ring the bell subscribe and you catch all my new videos when they come out and to all you aptarians out there you guys have a good day love you guys y'all take care and we'll catch you in the next video you have a good one all right bye bye No
Sometimes I need me 